Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's been a long time no video just because school's been super busy and I need to keep on top of that first over uh, YouTube. So unfortunately, you know, I haven't been as active as I'd like to be, but uh, hopefully we can get a few videos in here or there throughout the semester and then once it's over, you know, we'll go back to hopefully a more regular schedule. Uh, today is the first day of HBZ, or tonight rather. Uh, there's still registration sessions going on and all that good stuff. My room's a total mess right now. I need to, I've been moving things around and uh, getting ready for HBZ, so I gotta clean that up. Uh, the walls are kind of bare still because I have posters that I just got, but I haven't hung them up yet. Also got a few uh, more, so like some League and Overwatch stuff. But uh, I just wanted to do a short vlog just to talk about some HBZ stuff. So I just got a few things up from my parents over the weekend. So I got all my Mega Darts and my Roto Fury. I might run that like night one or two. Uh, and then go back to like some flywheel for when uh, more zombies start showing up. But uh, I ordered about 300 of those knockoff connect starts that people seem to be talking about on Reddit and stuff like that. So I'll do a review of those when they come in. They should be here later today. But uh, for right now, I just got a bin of like a bunch of miscellaneous starts and magazines. And I'm going to be using those uh, with my Strife projects which I will go to now. I uh, just moved my 3D printer down into the basement so I gotta move some other stuff but that's just for uh, long-term printing purposes like I haven't really been using it that much but uh, I figured if I move it to the basement maybe I can get a few like long prints in just because I can't leave it running overnight if it's in my room because it's quite loud. Okay so now going downstairs in our new apartment uh, we just got an air hockey table from my house but uh, I've been working on a few last minute projects for uh, HVZ. I really want to make a video about this guy, but I keep having issues with it. I think I'm almost done, but the uh, it was pretty much the paint took forever because it rained and ruined it during the last coat and I had to basically start over again. Then I uh, had some issues with getting the battery, and then I also had uh, an issue recently where it was finally working. I brought it to Rochester Foam Dart League to try it out for a few rounds before HVZ just to like sort of stress test it. And the rev switch got stuck in, which was actually, I took it out and uh, took it apart, but the switch was actually cracked. And the little uh, red piece that actually clicks got stuck inside the switch, and it was basically ruined, so I had to remove it. And then for my standard blaster, the uh, shark mouth strike that I've been using for like, I guess almost three years now, uh, I've printed a short version of the mag release that I made. So uh, this is based off of someone else's like longer mag release, and then I just took the uh, concept and made a short version for myself, and then I'm going to be throwing that in there. It actually fits in like this, but uh, this guy has the long version, which I got to file offline, and it's in this thing right here. It's in my parts cup. But yeah, so this guy, I want to, I'll make a video on it when it's actually finished. But uh, so here's the longer version, and then I sort of took the idea and then just made a small one so that I don't accidentally get into it as much but yeah that's basically what I've been working on recently okay so I moved this to the basement because there's like this is I guess where I would buy a workshop but I don't really have time to work on too much stuff so I just moved my 3d printer down here I had to get a new piece of glass because I cracked it when uh, I was moving in but basically um, right now I'm just printing some other short mag releases for uh, some people in my squad who I had to ask if I can get one because they really like how mine felt. But uh, this guy is going to be in the basement for now, just because uh, it makes everything a lot easier for like long-term printing. Then we have some storage stuff. But it's actually not too bad because there is a dehumidifier down here, so it will keep it nice and dry for uh, the plastic because if you have a lot of humidity with the plastic, and it can like absorb some of the water and it'll change the diameter of the filament, and that's kind of a pain, and it just messes up your printing ever so slightly over time so to avoid that you know there's a dehumidifier okay so it's super easy to replace the mag release with the new one in this case you just remove that screw then from there you can pretty much get rid of these two pieces and then you take the new one and just sort of plop it in it's kind of hard to do with one hand sorry then put the screw back in and then you're pretty much all good to go Okay, so extended bag release put into the blaster. It's all good to go for later. So my, my friend Sean's apartment, he's like the arms dealer for our HVZ game. He has sold most of his blasters, but uh, I guess the long shots aren't too popular. 
And then he's got quite a few more just lying down. He's actually running the... What are you running tonight? The Roto Fury? Uh, robotics. Oh, the Roto Robotics. Fury. He bought, like, literally all of the darts off Amazon... Or the discs off of Amazon for the, uh... Sort of, uh, for the Robotics. Wait, right but, uh... Actually, wait. He'll go get them real quick. Yeah, that's it. So if you ever wanted to know what 14 refill packs of, uh, Vortex discs looks like, this is, uh, it. I opened it to leave and I let it close and the air current held it open. So, so the upper gazelle door is now propped open by air pressure. That's wonderful. Okay, so we're into day two now of HVZ. You can see the score is 401 humans to 183 zombies with 4 days, 6 hours, 46 minutes, and 41 seconds remaining. At the time of this video, uh, it started off with maybe about like 60 or so people that started zombie, and then it just grew from there. Uh, quite a few people died this morning, actually, which is kind of surprising, because it's Monday morning after the first Sunday night mission. But uh, more importantly, my darts just came in, so we're going to crack these open. So these are like knockoff Kinect starts that uh, are available on Amazon. Uh, they have a few different batches. Uh, this one was, I believe, the newest version, and they were about 300 darts for like 17 bucks. And it had like Prime, and I kind of needed darts like last minute because I thought I had enough, but it turns out that I don't think that I do. So basically these were like a last minute, like almost impulse purchase, but uh, I'll be using them throughout the week. There's 300, like I said, in here. I'm going to do a short review, but basically they are... Uh, men gun brand i'll put a link in the description hopefully when i do the review and they're just like knockoff connect starts so these tips are actually uh compressible and they got approved by my school more importantly because they don't allow all the aftermarket darts like fvjs are banned you could use cruise darts but they take like two or three weeks to get here so these are a decent alternative at a good price point 